Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Yasin Better. I'm an Egyptian American medical student studying medicine in Egypt and want to practice medicine in the United States. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about my USMLE step one preparation from the beginning till the end. In fact, I'm going to talk about everything I did since I started medical school and even a little bit of background about myself so that you guys understand why did I choose the USMLE to do between everything else. I'm also going to talk about what I wish I learned before I started the USMLE step one so that you guys don't do the same mistakes I did and I'm gonna talk about literally everything the resources the how to study everything okay this is gonna be a full guide and I'm gonna divide it into chapters so if you want to choose a specific part to watch or you want to see the whole video that's up to you I advise you to watch the whole video because it's gonna be having a ton of value so let's get right into the video so in order to understand why did I choose the USM lead to do you have to know a little bit about me I was born and raised in Egypt but I had my US citizenship from my dad and and since I was young, I knew that one day I'm going to be in the U.S. living, studying, working, everything in the United States since I was young. So this is why I chose USMLE. So I went to high school here in Egypt. And when I was in high school, I had two choices, okay, whether to stay in Egypt and go to med school, free med school, I didn't pay anything, or go to the US to study there and, you know, be basically drawn up into loans, student loans and you know study the undergrad and then MCAT and med medical school so I said okay no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go to med school in Egypt and that's it I don't have student loans I don't have you know I'm gonna be in my city in my country I'm gonna enjoy everything and I'm not gonna worry about student loans or MCAT or, or that so I went into med school in Egypt I'm not gonna say medical school in Egypt is bad but my brain did not really you know go well with medical school in Egypt the way the memorize stuff the way the you know study stuff isn't the way my brain works okay so I said okay I think I made a mistake and I need to make a better decision now so I finished first year and actually scored really 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 well but I said okay I'm not gonna continue in medical school in Egypt I'm, I'm gonna go to the US and study there and this is actually what I did I started contacting undergraduate uh, schools in the, in the US and I was lucky enough because I scored really high on the SAT so I got your 100% scholarship Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. It's a very, very good university in, in, in Albany, New York. And it was basically for free to me because I scored really, really, really well on the SAT. So I said, okay, I'm gonna continue there and that's it. I did well, I, I finished the semester there, but unfortunately I had tons of troubles. It was impossible for me to continue there. So I went back to Egypt and so as you, see, as you see here, it was I was fluctuating between the countries, but eventually I said to myself, okay, I'm going to continue at the, at the at Alexander University School of Medicine, and that's it, guys. I'm going to self-study and do the USMLE instead. So this is where my decision came. So second year, I over, so I already made my decision after the first year to take the USMLE. So my decision was to take the USMLE and then go to the US as a doctor in order to practice medicine there, and that's what I did. I stayed here, I studied uh, medicine. I'm now fifth year, so hopefully I'll take the USMLE step two CK and like for residencies, and then hopefully I get general surgery, which what I hope to get. Okay, so starting second year, so when I came to Egypt, okay, I looked for resources to study from that actually apply or that works with my brain, okay? And I found this amazing resource that you guys, all you guys know, Pathoma. Okay, this guy is, is just a genius. I cannot stress enough how this guy like rescued my life regarding pathology. Like pathology never made sense in med school. Never. Like I used to memorize necrosis and you know the types of necrosis, coagulative and you know non-coagulative and, and these and this shit, but never made sense until I watched this guy. And I only like understand now what is necrosis. Like at the time it really didn't make sense. I don't know why, maybe it's my problem. Like other, my other class, classmates in, in med school, they didn't have a problem with that, or they did, I don't know. But I'm talking about myself here, solely uh, my experience. So I started with Pathoma, and actually I, I didn't finish the whole Pathoma at the time. I finished maybe half of it, or you know, like just, I, I did it for like maybe two months, and I finished half, okay? The, the thing about me is that I never continue a resource. Like, unfortunately, I never like ended the resource from the beginning to finish. 
which is mistake number one. I'll tell you guys like this in order to avoid it in the future. I never continued Pathoma from the beginning to the end. So during my time, when I was studying Pathoma, I, I saw Kaplan biochemistry and I started doing, I started doing biochemistry series, you know, the Sam Turco six videos, you know, six hour course. Uh, you can find it, a lot of people talk about it. It's a very, very good uh, course. And the, for the first time, guys, I understood biochemistry well. Like I finished first year of med school and I never understood biochemistry the way I did from Sam Turco, okay? So this guy is, is just amazing as well. So this is regarding biochemistry and pathoma or pathology. I heard about Kaplan immunology. This is, this is an amazing resource. Kaplan immunology, I cannot stress enough. So Kaplan immunology saved my life as, as I said. And so by now I have finished Let's say I finished Pathoma, Kaplan Immunology, and Sam Turco Biochemistry. And then at the time I heard about Boards and Beyond, and so I started doing that, okay? Boards and Beyond is a good resource, but the thing is it focuses too much on first aid. So it's actually first aid, but the recorded version of it, you know, the, the video version of it. The guy is very, very good. I'm not saying he's, he's not good, but a lot of what he says is just you know, speaking out first aid. If you like first aid, you will love Jason Ryan. You will love Dr. Jason Ryan. You will love Boards and Beyond. And I love them too. I like, I finished a lot of his videos, but what I found, what I found really good about Boards and Beyond is that it has the, a ton of high yield. This guy never says something that is not important. If he says, you're gonna see this question on the step one exam, you're gonna see that this question on the step one exam. He never says anything that's low yield. If you want one resource from all these resources that only speaks high yield, Boards, boards and Beyond is the way to go. If you don't wanna miss any piece of information that's, that is important, or that's, that is important on step one or step two, Boards and Beyond is the way to go. It's a lot, I understand. But this guy is, is very good. So I finished almost all of Boards and Beyond. Almost all of it. Not all of it. I, I, I left about four systems. And li like I said, during that time, I also did a lot of question banks. I did a lot of questions. I did, I did USMLE RX. I used to finish, for example, neurology from Boards and Beyond and do the USMLE RX question banks. Um, I, I also did some AMBOSS, you know, uh, I finished um, cardiology from Boards and Beyond and then did cardiology, USMLE RX, you know the free trial, the five day free trial that USMLE RX do, does. So yeah, that's regarding the Boards and Beyond. After that, and then I started, after that I started UWorld, okay. I started doing UWorld 40 questions random, all right, and timed. I did about 14 blocks of it, okay? I did 14 blocks of the of your world, and that's it, guys. About 25% of your world, that's it. I I never, I never continued doing your world. And and by the way, this is the reason why I recommend Boards and Beyond very much because Boards and Beyond give me all the high yield stuff that I get from question banks without actually doing the question banks. So I never did U World all of it, but I did most of Boards and Beyond, which gave me the same exact experience of U World. Okay. I never did. I never touched First Aid. This annoying book. I never touched it because I hated the way it's written, and it's written in a way that's I don't know who understands First Aid, but yeah, some people do. Like if you're comfortable doing it, that's fine. I'm, I wasn't comfortable. My brain didn't work the same way that the first aid worked. So all this time of preparation was during med school. Now I'm gonna talk about dedicated period. So I started dedicated period when I was in the US. I was in, with my family there and I started doing questions, questions, questions. I, I bought a subscription from Amboss and started doing about 40 questions a day and then end the week with an MBME to test, to assess myself, okay? So I did seven, uh, six days of questions from Emboss and one day uh, MBME assessment. So this was my main structure. And then I got into the exam and it was, it was easy and I was fine. You know, it was a good experience. So this is about my experience, all right? Let's talk about how you guys should study for the USMLE step one. Okay, so let me tell you, let me tell you how to exactly study for the step one. 
Guys, it all starts with the mindset. You shouldn't just read the book. You shouldn't just watch the video. You shouldn't do that. You should absorb what's in front of you. You should make sense of every single word that's written in your book. Okay, not just read it. You should make sense of everything. If you don't make sense, you're gonna forget everything. You're, you're gonna be frustrated, you're gonna hate yourself, you're gonna hate med school. Everything is not gonna make sense. So the way you start preparation of the USMLE is through the mindset. Start building your mindset the right way. Start understanding more. Do not memorize, start understanding more. Start making sense of everything you read, okay? I'm gonna make a lot of videos in the future on, on the mindset, but this is how you should start. If you are learning about necrosis, understand the word itself okay understand what is necrosis like why is it called necrosis and not nedrosis for example i'm just saying um, i'm just saying as an example you should understand the, the terminology first you should understand everything about what, what you're reading instead of just regurgitating information so it starts with a mindset let's go into the resources my my advice pathoma for pathology borders and beyond for physiology questions for everything else okay you need these two things you need physiology to understand the normal and you need pathology to understand the abnormal, and you need questions in order to apply the new knowledge. All right, so these three things. That's, that's it, guys. Finish pathoma and finish the physiology part of every section. You will see uh, Dr. Jason Ryan have, you know, for example, cardiology. He has a physiology part. Take this physiology from him. He has renal, phys renal physiology. Take this part from him. And pathoma has everything regarding pathology. So take pathology from pathoma, physiology from boards and beyond, and questions. Start doing questions right away. Do not delay doing questions. Just do questions, guys. Just start doing questions. Don't say, I don't understand. I don't know. Try doing questions and understand every single word that's it that's how you build knowledge don't say oh I have to finish uh, watching these videos first before I start doing questions this is wrong you should just get pathoma get boards and beyond make a little base for yourself this is the base you're gonna build the questions on build the base and then start doing questions in order to build the whole you know building the whole building of knowledge that will give you the ability to solve on the real day, right so the pillar here is solving questions okay in the USMLE step one and two and every every board exam out there you are going to solve questions guys this is what you are gonna do practice makes perfect if you want to be a good football player what do you do play football if you want to be a good test taker if you want get, to get a high score do questions do the test itself timed random everything this is how you be better this is the structure of your plan do not waste time watching this and that and, and no just do questions do these two things if you want to watch something just watch pathoma and boards and beyond the, the, the physiology part of it and then just start doing questions right away okay just, just pick one you world amboss all the all of them are the same. I'd recommend you will. Ambos is good too, it's, it's cheaper. Um, you can do USMLE RX, but RX is, is a bit easy and it's not really reflective of the real deal. So you can do Ambos or UWorld, I, I, I advise that. So, so let's say you're young. Let's say you're young now. You're in second year, okay? And you're, you're taking cardiology in your med school. What I advise is that you get the, Q bank, the question bank of cardiology and then start doing questions. If you like your medical school's resources, start from, start from them. S start studying from them, okay? Start, let's say you're studying um, heart murmurs, okay? Study heart murmurs from your book or whatever uh, lecture series or whatever it is that you're using and then do questions on it and that's it. I have tons of things to tell you guys, like a lot of things, like my brain now is actually exploding from the information I wanted to tell you. If you want one advice, study from whatever you want and do questions. Study from whatever you want. All of them are the same and do questions. This is how you achieve success on board exams or any medical school exam whatsoever. If you wanna be good at, I'm not gonna repeat everything. That's fine. Six months is more than enough. Take the USMLE, it's pass fail now. Just develop your mindset. Start with pathoma, boards and beyond, uh, physiology, physiology and pathology, and then just do questions. You'll be fine. Okay guys, uh, that's it, that, that was my experience. If you have any questions, any questions, please, please let me know. You can send me on Facebook, you can send me on Instagram. Um, yeah, you can comment on the video. I'll, I'll be answering everything you want. I'll, I'm gonna make a lot of videos in the future, so please like and subscribe if you like the content. And if you have any video ideas you want it, you want me to do, just put it uh, in the uh, in the comments, and I'll I'll make it I'll, right away. Okay, thanks so much, guys, for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.